Yo, what's up, Giants football scout? Back at it again with another film analysis for the 2020 NFL Draft. Today, we're going to be looking at Javelin Girdry from Utah. He's a corner, and uh, he impressed this combine, man. I got to say, he ran the second fastest 40-yard dash out of every position. Was by far the fastest corner by like 0.1 seconds. But the most impressive thing to me was his bench press, dude. Listen, he was like, he was one rep away from being tied for first in bench press for corners. With 21 reps, and he's this fast? That's scary. You know, I mean, he's like the second fastest dude. Or no, he's the first fastest dude and basically the first strongest dude for corners. That's impressive, right? But his big downfall, which is probably why he might not even get drafted low-key, uh, is his 5'9 height. It's just just staring you right in the face and that's just you're destined to get mossed i don't care if you're even just going to get somebody that's six foot you're destined to get mossed no matter how good an athlete you are i gotta say though he has some real long arms and some decent hands some uh decently sized hands and the 191 even is not that bad because he's five nine but um you know overall dude's one heck of an athlete so um let's take a look at the stats see what he's got in the stat department looks to be a basically a three-year starter maybe not a starter but he played a decent amount of snaps every year uh, starting off with his first year he actually had a pretty good first year not a lot of tackles one interception which he had one interception every year actually got his only touchdown of his career there and then 2018 looks to be his best season to be honest to me Nine pass deflections, a career high, one interception, and he had a decent amount of tackles. This year, though, a lot of solo tackles, which, you know, shows he probably improved as a tackler over his time. He got that one consistent interception. It is nice to see consistency and uh, six PD, uh, six pass deflections, which is, you know, solid. You can't complain. Um, so, um... Just being a 5'9 guy, you're going to get compared to Tyran Matthew, even if you're not a safety. Um, so he's 5'9, and yeah, you're going to get compared to Tyran Matthew. But um, but regardless, let's go ahead and get into this Texas game film. We've already, you know, to be honest, we've seen some Utah uh, DBs play against Texas and uh, play pretty good against Texas, to be honest. And uh, so let's get into it. Javelin Geardry. Number 28, right here. First play from scrimmage. Let's see what happens. Texas has the ball. Ellinger is going to drop back to pass with time. Over the middle, he's got his man caught in the Utah. He's been hurt for a lot of the year, but he is a big time. Like, why they got his 5'9 man there. playing inside like that in the box? Run the ball on first down in Utah territory. Break out of it. He definitely looks short. And the ball off once again. A nice he's hole left he's side not. Running he ain't scared. Deontay I mean, he's really does. He's I looking pretty fearless. Play. I mean, on the with this uh, view, it is always hard to see, kind of, uh, to really uh, see second and short, the how good of a coverage guy they are without actually getting down. tested. Texas quarterbacking records. But, uh, you know, this is they obviously solid. had a great history of that position over the years. He's got time again. Little pump fake now. He's he has take a decent back pedal. Play the drive coming up second and eleven. Looks of it. Sack for the youth and Ellinger for one of those designed That's quarterback like runs. Footwork. It is not easy to run straight up the middle against Utah. Give Ellinger. Duvernay comes in motion. Third and six for the Longhorns. Ellinger in the pocket. Looks like they're working out of the Another slot a lot. Fake. He's gonna throw. He's got a man, but it's not. Oh, wait, yo, 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 yo. Who is this? Who, who made this play? It is not easy. I just want to make sure. The middle against Utah. Give Ellinger. Duvernay comes in motion. All right, I think it might actually be 14. I might be slow. Ellinger in the pocket. Another little pump fake. He's gonna throw. He's got a man, but it's not extremely. Yeah, that's 14. Then my Texas team, one of the leaders. Zach Shackelford, the senior. I guess I don't know. Hit as he throws, and that one into traffic. Yeah, good coverage on him though. First quarter. Some real good coverage on him. Do they trust him to guard Duvenary, though? Devin Duvenary. Do they trust him, though? Like, it doesn't seem like... Right there, just it for a <laughs> Yo, this isn't even a highlight, but this is rewindable, y'all. 
all right, they got it lined up kind of on the edge here. And um, let's just, let's just watch this, okay? Neither coaching in this game this is this is scenario. I mean, this is wild. You're blitzing this five nine man, bang! He finds the hole and there's just speeds through, right there. and he's still coming. He's like a little dog. He's Passing like a little Jones. chihuahua who just wants to a, a little bit of food from the ball. Ellinger, pocket starts to collapse. He's going down. Got first and ten for Ellinger and the Texas offense. A little option style play. The they yeah, go I mean, back. definitely don't shy watch him. He doesn't shy away from uh, the contact. For sure. Ooh, I'm breaking all the tackles. I think I've watched this game like three times in the past like two days, but uh, it is what it is. Still don't know who wins. Slam. <laughs> John. Back, don't bring an extra guy down the box. We'll run it. Good protection again. Texas has done a good job of that. Ellinger overthrew his man. Yeah, he had him open. Ellinger got a delayed handoff. You know, it makes for boring film. Johnson but um, from one, so far, man, I gotta say, Made Javelin, down. that's his name, right? <laughs> Yeah, he's not really getting targeted. Uh, he's not really getting targeted like that. You know? People aren't really looking to target him, which I gotta give props for that. that. You know, as a uh, the board. You see they drop a corner, that's big job. John Pennis you know, there, and he misses the tackle, but that's a great targeted, job of rallying. Not get interception, which is, that's fast. That's an understatement field position, but on the first down play, Deontay Ingram got driven out here on the perimeter, get out on the edges. From the shotgun, a little fake, and he does get on the perimeter. Throws, <laughs> touchdown! Break, and he does I always wish they reshow. I always wish that they reshow this play here, because I like this. This happened with the Terrell Burgess, which I think is right here. Film. I couldn't tell if this was his fault or 28's fault, which is who we're doing now, um, because they don't really show the whole play, so I can't really see what route he ran. But like, I'm trying to decide, like, that's his man or not. Oh. I don't know, like, it's really hard to tell. I think it might be his man. That might be his dad. Since then, this game has had a history of dramatic finishes, upsets. Long, and any time you see them rotate down the single high coverage, that's where they're going. Ellinger kept the ball. That was a good decision, but Utah did well to keep that to a country in catches. Colin Johnson has been the playmaker on the outside so far in this one. There's a oh, that's on the left man. side by Brennan E. You know, for a guy that has so much speed, you would need him to be able to get there on the curl route. You know, you're being safe to make sure he's not stopping. He's just going to take off, stutter him at the line of scrimmage. They got man-to-man -man -man coverage, camera. and from there, he's just going to hand fight him down the field. And Duvernay is tough now, <sighs> taking it. All right, this is interesting. This is a low light. But it obviously is rewindable here. Um, Duvenary, it's like Eagle. we're looking at a third, fourth round pick here. You know, they finally, I haven't actually seen them put Javelin on him a lot. But, um, you know, Duvenary, he's a fast dude. You expect this guy that ran a 4 2 9 to catch up and be there, you know? Bang. They call it. You see Duvernay here in the slot. He's just going to take off. The hips look the a little stiff, though. They got man-to-man -man coverage. He's right there, there with him. And then he's just going to hand fight him down the and field. And Duvernay just... is tough now, taking advantage of a guy who had 103 receptions in 2019. Uh-oh, here we go. Duvernay got the pitch back. I don't know if he was looking to throw. Yeah, I don't like, that's not really impressive to me, right you know, seeing him on the edge of your screen. almost like, I know he got kind of handy with him. But, like, that's just how it's going to be, you know? Johnson on the right side. Ellinger steps up in the pocket. He's going to throw. That one is knocked up in the junior quarterback. Low snap. He'll spin away. Nice job by Ellinger. Now he's going to try to run for it. Lowers his big play still in the first half. Ellinger sprinting right. Ellinger under pressure. He's one up, and it's almost intercepted. Bottom in your screen. And then you see once again a tremendous job. Yeah, hey, this is a. Hey, yo, this is a quick rewind. Yo, why does it lag here? Ellinger. All right, well, right. even though this is, like, it just wants to lag the one time he did something Four. great. Lowers his big play oh. still in the first. Right, he's in motion with, it looks like Duvenier. Right, 
Ellinger sprinting Stay right. Good. Ellinger under pressure. Heaves one up, and it's Dang, almost intercepted. It's a bad throw. I, I hate to tell you, you it's, see, just, once again, it's a bad throw. A it's not a good Devin play Lloyd by the corner. Sure that Ellinger doesn't He's have in a, a solid position. Lane in order but if it's an interception, they have the ball on the one. If not, they I mean, get it at the I guess eight. he did push him down yeah, and I stuff. He definitely hit the turf, but I don't know. Maybe I think he picked That's an interception. You know, that's one of those interceptions that it's an interception, but I mean, the corner didn't do much. I hate to tell you. Obviously, I mean, he did something. He pushed him down. Looks but like still, going to be content just to hand the ball off. Bad pass. Some yardage on the final play. You know, it's not so a good play by the corner. It's a bad Long pass. On the field. Boom, he got boom. <laughs> he got dragged. <laughs> Texas quarterback standing alongside Colt McCoy and Vince Young. You're doing something. Finds Ingram, turns it upfield. First down, Texas. Oh my Inside gosh. the 25. That was a low snap. Massacre. That's happened. A throwback. Got to be honest though, so far I'm not very impressed with Javelin. I don't care that he's strong and he's uh, you know, fast. Or, uh, just don't really see him. He's successful in the NFL. I mean, I know this is just one single game, it's a small sample size, but uh, statistically this is his best game of the year. And, uh, Ellinger keeps it. Ellinger, nice cut. First down and much more. Trying to use a blocker. Johnson got out there. Duvernay will get the carry. And he's going to throw back to his quarterback teammate. Ellinger cuts it middle. Well, it was fun to watch. Second and four. Option. Pitch. It's funny that they use him in the box Ingram so much. Leaps over the would-be tackle. What a play. A minute plus of this third quarter. They got him blitzing. This time, you can't jump over the big guy. It's a weird middle. angle. I guess it's secure. Like the, uh, all the way down to one. It contains him, I guess. He can't go back. Off. Johnson gets drilled. Flag thrown. And they're starting to lose their composure. Ellinger. I don't know if that was by design, but the quarterback made it work. Sam echoed our friend uh, Joe Tessitore, sort of famously declared, Texas is back. Take that good angle, 28. Johnson, Ohio State. He took a solid angle on him. Draw to get him to Austin is he is going to be the play caller. Johnson powers forward for a gain of second and seven near midfield. Ellinger over the top. Johnson out there. Duvernay rather Yeah, this is, and this is why, man, being that short, you're getting dusted, okay? by a guy that's like Devin Duvenary, okay? He's a solid guy, considering that he's in the draft, right? Third, fourth round, maybe even fifth round pick, right? All I'm saying is that guy is probably worse than most slot corners in the, in, in the NFL. And I would assume that you would want Javelin in the slot. I mean, because of his speed, and, and he's pretty short, which is, you know, pretty prototypical right maybe not that short but you know what I mean and um that's just he's got beat twice had he's won once you know he's, he's two for one I mean one for two whatever you know he's not doing good against a guy that's probably not even gonna have that much success in the NFL <laughs> this guy's not Odell Beckham Jr. or just some stud wide receiver this man's not Julio Jones or Tyreek Hill guard him up Javelin Let's over see what and happens over here. again. And here, he's just going to streak down the field. And this again, this is a guy who runs 10 to 7 in the 100 meters. Now, that's a guy who has tremendous time. I don't care how fast you are, but you're getting just hand fighted out of every single battle and mossed on. I'm sorry. I don't care how fast you are. Go run a track or something. I mean, that's just not good. Here we go again. Ellinger with that design quarterback run. Now, that time he took a pretty big hit. He got five some hits. Yeah, look, they're empty in the tank tonight, though. Yeah, why not? Johnson straight ahead, carrying defenders. How physical has he to do whatever it takes to help the team win? First and goal. Ellinger, design run with a block. Touchdown, Texas. There's really not a press line, to Ellinger, be honest. Over the top. That one is a one-handed <laughs> attempt. Experience, but he can play. Second and goal, pressure comes. Ellinger takes a hit. Over the top. Duvernay jumps up. Scoring here. This is a he, great he job. He is now one for three. He is getting absolutely demolished. 
this is just why, like, listen, he's probably faster than him in, like, a straight line foot race. That doesn't matter, man. You really just got to stick to him and run the route. Look. Second to goal, pressure Bang. comes. Ellinger takes a hit over the top. Duvernay jumps up. It's Moss. I mean, this is a great job. Just look at him jab inside and then just run the seven. You see him push off there at the break point. He probably played, he could have played that a little bit better. I mean, even if he's 5'9", I mean, like he is, he still could have maybe played this better. If um, you look at it right here, if he cuts in instead of playing the receiver, if he just tries to play the ball, he's going to have to try to play the ball more because, um, yeah, I mean, he you're not going to beat this guy. And Devin Duvenary is not even that big of a dude. Point. He's probably 5'11". Uh, you know, time great that, run that's for this Clemson program. like and the average slot down. receiver probably, Texas and you're getting mossed by him. That's just, that's not, that's not acceptable. He's, got, he's let up, like, three big plays, one a touchdown. That is why he is our Capital One yeah, player I hate to tell you, he's Texas just not that good. Texas back on the field. And a short gain on the first day. understands how big this moment is, especially in front of this big UT crowd here oh in San Antonio. Bench, which got gashed by Oregon. Even with that, was still the best in FBS. Another 222 yards tonight for its final three minutes. And just okay to hand the ball off. He's and honestly he body probably better in run support than he is in actual coverage. I mean, and he's 5'9", 190, dude. <laughs> Georgia fans are not going to be happy. Thompson Horns putting the finishing touches on their best game of the year, which is what we said at the end of last year when they beat up on Georgia. That's a big hit by number somebody. And they are going to let Thompson, the young quarterback, throw the ball. Well, they were, but he goes. Okay, well, um, let's just go ahead and uh, give my overall overview of this man right here from Utah, Javelin Gatterary, whatever his name is. I'm sorry, but he just did not impress me. He was three for one against Devin Duvenary, a guy that's probably not going to amount to a Hall of Fame receiver. I'm sorry, but he, you can't get dusted like that consistently. The only use that I could see of him is like a return man, like a Darren Sproles type. He's just, he's too short, and to be honest, his game speed doesn't even look that fast. This man ran this 4-9, but let's be honest, it didn't mean much when it came to the game. He still got outran by Devin Duvenary, <laughs> and um, that's just not impressive. Like, I hate to tell you, that's not impressive. These stats don't mean anything. These combine stats don't mean anything. This this 21 pound or 21 rep strength didn't show in the film at all. This four this 429 showed nothing in the film. It was very disappointing. Um definitely should be a UDFA. Probably, I don't know. He might not even should be a UDFA. Low key, I mean that was just awful. Um, the NFL projects him as a priority free agent. That is, um, that's pretty generous. Um, he maybe he can be a special teamer, a gunner, or a something. Just where he doesn't really have to, you know, play corner, special teams, that or practice squad. That's all I see him as. But with that being said, see y'all later and go Giants.